hey guys welcome to my channel it's your boy deep you know how it is today i'm going to be running a full photo retouching from start to finish how i color grade my image and how i skin retouch my image so i'll be teaching you how i color correct and color grade in capture one the skin retouch in photoshop but i think i'm going to break this into a two part series um, the first part will be capture one, color correction, color grading, and then we'll move to Photoshop for the skin retouching. Um, yeah, let's go right into, so we'll go straight in to capture one and I'll show you guys how I run um, my color corrections, like color grading at capture one and how I develop my raw files. So, and um, forgive me, I might not be looking into the camera because the system is right in front of me now. So um, I don't know how we're gonna do it. So I hope it goes well. This will be my first time retouching and showing my face in the video. So, or appreciate what you have. <laughs> first thing I do is capture one, once I'm on my adjustments option what i do first thing i do is to decide what uh what's it called what um curves i'm using under the base characteristics uh if you're using fujifilm you have more of these options but if you're not using fujifilm good luck to you <laughs> yes you will not be able to have these options but i do, i'll just leave it on auto so so we are on, uh, what's it called, neutral ground with every other person that has decided to join this retouching session. Okay, um, so um, so after I just did my, deciding my base characteristics for this image, the next thing I go for is the sharpening. All I do for the sharpening is take down the threshold. It helps sharpen my image a little bit. I don't know if you can notice it in the eye region, but it's there, it just helps to sharpen it a little bit. Then I go to the um, noise reduction and then take down luminance, and it helps to bring sharpness back to my image. So these three things are the basic things I do. The first step I take when developing my raw files on Capture One. So the next thing I'm going to do is to adjust my exposure for this image, probably push it a little bit up a little, then I think that's all for the exposure. Then I come to the what's it called, high dynamic range to fix my highlights, shadows and all. But for this, I'll be deciding to take the shadows forward a little bit just to open up the image, just to open up the image, then bring back contrast with the blacks by taking it back. Open the shadows a little bit more, and I think I'm cool. There's no need for me to take down the highlights or the whites because the exposure is so perfect. I'm so good at taking exposure that, you know, I don't need to do all of that. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding, and no need for the whites and the highlights to be taken down. Next step is to go to my color editor. Under my color editor, what I do is I go to the skin, under the skin, I use this color picker, pick the, I pick from, from the mid-tones of our skin, I don't pick from the highlights, I don't pick from the shadow, I pick from the mid-tone. So around here is the mid-tone of a skin color. Then see, let's pick, let's pick the color. All I need to do here is to push the saturation under an amount, push it forward a bit, just to bring in more saturation into the image. I, I actually not, I'm not a, a, a color photographer. I, I really don't do colors, but for me to to arrive at my expected result, I push the color forward and then 
use some tools to mute down the, the colors uh, as I'm going to show you guys. So I push the color forward just a little bit. Um, maybe the highlights a bit up, just open up our skin. If you notice it before and after, just open up the skin a little. Okay, let's stop at this point for the um, skin tone. Then probably increase the saturation a little under uniformity. What this does is it helps to make the saturation uniform in the entire image. So I don't take it all the way. I just probably bring it to 11.8 around there. That's the sweet spot for my files. I don't know about your files, but for my files, this that is the sweet spot. So um, next step is uh, probably uh, we're, we're going to come back to to this process again so um, what I'll do next is go to color balance under color balance I like to create layer I like to create my color balance under a layer in capture one so I come to this plus sign add a new field adjustment layer if you press M, you'll notice it's going to show you the max. It means the max is filled up. So anything we, are, we, we create right now is going to affect every part of the image. So what I'll do next is press M to hide the max. Um, go back to my color balance. Under my color balance, I usually like to affect the, um, the what's it called, the high, uh, highlights first. Yeah, so the first step I did with um, with the, what's it called, uh, under the background, the editor, the skin tone, this is my first step of color correcting the skin tone to um, the point where I want it, how I want the colors to be saturated or desaturated. That's what I do with the skin tone. Then the next step for me is to create a look which is entering the territory of... Um, color grading right now so um so under my adjustment layer one you can rename it to probably high highlights highlights and what i would do is so to color grade and add colors into the highlights first thing i do is to push the saturation forward and then use this hue to decide what colors do I want to put on my highlights so I think I love it around here as you can see it has desaturated the image it's not looking as saturated as it was before after the skin tone it has desaturated it and it's giving it a look just by create just by adding a color to the highlights and you see it looks good for some people they are okay with this but for me for this image I want to push it an extra mile so you decide then I usually bring down the saturation and I begin to increase it until I have the desired look that I want and then probably around here and stop there and I'm cool with the highlights next thing I would do is to adjust the to adjust my, um, my shadows. So for the shadows, I will need a color too for the shadows. So I'm going to create another adjustment layer, new field adjustment layer for the shadows. Um, shadow. Shadow. So select the shadow under the color balance option. Then same thing push the saturation up if you push your saturation up then you use this hue slider to decide what hue you want for the shadow so what i do my rule of thumb for the shadow is this i look at the hair if the hair is not giving me a black color i try to use what's it called a shade that will help bring back the blacks in in the hair. So probably around here, and then take down the saturation, don't just bring it up. 
in. And I create, and I have something like this with the hair. Though it's looking a little bit bluish, but probably around here, we might adjust it as we go forward. After creating the highlights and the shadows, and I've created a color grade already, I would like to push it forward using curves. So curves, that's where I really could create a specific look that I want for my image and and I'll show you guys how I do it. So I return back to my base, my background layer, under the background layer, I bring up my curves. So let me hide this. Curves. So under the curves, I go into the reds. Then I bring up the shadows a little bit in the reds, as you can see, it's pushing in reds into the shadows and then go to the green, bring up the green a little bit, probably around here. Yeah, so this is where you get a sweet spot of having a brown tone in your image, adding reds and greens, red and a little bit of green in your shadow will create this brown skin tone vibe. So here you go, how to make brown skin tone in just 10 seconds. <laughs> so I proceed with color grading this image. The, then the blues probably take down the blues a little bit or leave the blue there. I, I, I don't really see a need for me to adjust the blues. So I'll leave the blue just the way it is. Then come up here, probably bring the blue down so I could get this greenish vibe to the, the image. Return back to the reds. So the reds, probably I'll bring the reds from the highlights, bring it up a bit. Uh, I think I think bring the reds up a bit, then the greens. You want to take down the greens, you want to add more green. Uh, maybe maybe just add a little bit of green, then the blues, bring the blues. Huh? Take the blues up, reds, take it. Take it down, probably around here. Just refine it until you get what you're looking for, for a look. And yeah, here, around here. Refine it until you, you, you get what you want. So probably I'll go with it this way. Uh, I think around here it's is all right for me, but like I said, when I'm color grading, I'm trying to get the hair to look dark, to look its original color. So I return back to my shadows, under the shadows, return back to uh, the color balance, under the color balance, probably push this up a bit. Push this up a little bit more, and uh, yeah, just push it up just to have that dark looking hair. And uh, see, before and after, up there is before and highlights. So I'm having this greenish feel on the skin. I like it, and but. I'm feeling the image looks a bit too um, kind of flat for me. So probably I'll return back to the background and then the exposure, not the exposure, take down the exposure, take down the exposure a little bit and then return back to high dynamic range. Maybe push the blacks, uh -huh, push the blacks this way and then the the shadows just open the shadows this way go back to the shadows increase this a little bit more and then highlights and the highlights probably a, a change uh, i think i think that is all right that looks good this 
looks good already um yeah so i think i'm kind of cool with this um let me refine the the curves a bit more um see here to decide what i want for the curves hmm, interesting so, oh, oh okay i think that's the sweet spot then i just want to refine my my what's it called my skin tone then probably push it forward a bit more Take it down, see. Push it forward, come to basic under the orange color, just push the skin tone a little bit more. A little bit more skin tone. Then sorry guys, so I I I, I didn't notice my camera went off while recording, so I I'm sorry for the skip. So we'll go back to the video, continue the video. So I'm noticing the color casts in the skin and in the shadow area so what we'll do is we'll create another layer a new layer a new field adjustment layer rename this layer um uh fix color cast and then what we'll do to fix it is under our color balance under the shadow we look for a color that fixes dash the opposite of the the color cast we're having so around here then bring down the saturation then take it up gradually and yes we'll fix the color cast that is how easy it is to fix it and to also have contrast brought in through color and yes i think i think i'm good with this image and the next step is to move forward to, into photoshop to skin retouch the image and refine every other thing in the image and i'll be glad to see you guys in the next video as i skin retouch this image and show you guys my workflow in photoshop so do have a great day i had a great time color grading this image and bye